and I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel and tonight we are talking about Lake Oroville we're going to be talking about Lake Powell Lake Mead as well and we're going to talk about some reservoirs in California and if you think this is worthy of a like or a subscribe after this video is done please consider doing that that'd be much appreciated and we are going to roll right over to windy.com and we are looking at the current snow pack in the Sierra mountain range here. So we're gonna start down near Mammoth Lake here, 41 inches and over here, 48 inches just to the south. Yosemite National Park, 21.3. You can see this is really starting to decline. And as a matter of fact, this is the 34th day without any precipitation in California. As we go look at the live cam right now, and you can see nothing but blue skies. It's, it's been for quite a long time. We go over here to South Lake Tahoe. You can see the snow and you can see there's some ice. It has been fairly dry, 34 days to be exact. And as we scoot in here to South Lake Tahoe, 30 inches and 24 in South Lake Tahoe itself. Up here in Truckee by Donner's Pass, 23.6 seven and we scoot down here by lake oroville you can see 28 this thing is really starting to melt away 13 inches there we go to chester and we will look at the, the webcam there you can see there's still some snow but you can see how much is really starting to melt not a good situation there in chester 34.5 and then down here at oroville itself there's no snow at oroville itself you can see that it's 62 degrees beautiful day here's a picture from the lake and we go up to Mount Shasta up here and we look at the snowfall on Mount Shasta itself. Mount Shasta itself 19.4 so it's not a real great snowpack whatsoever. We're going to go away from windy.com and we're going to look at the snowpack in the Sierra mountain range. Here we are at the snow water equivalent and you can see 55% is what the average would be for April 1st and that is terrible. We keep going further down 74. Central's the highest at 80 81% and actually last week when I did this southern Sierra was a lot higher 59 for the norm 55 for what it would be on April 1st so there's what you have going on there I want to go to the drought this is not a good situation but I do have a bit of good news possibly so we're going to go to the drought monitoring station here we are at drought intensity and you can see there's some extreme drought close to Mount Shasta up here and then you have moderate drought over here northeast California you have have severe drought all the way down the valley which was starting to be in the yellow last time and now the whole state is back in drought and that's not good i mean 34 days without any rain precipitation that's not a very good situation whatsoever and you can see even in colorado they're to the yellow finally on the colorado river which is good but they definitely need a lot more precipitation so yellow's good it would be severe drought on the eastern side of colorado extreme drought down here in Utah and they're only in yellow down here in Arizona as well so and then you got a big swath right here in Nevada that's completely in exceptional drought so not good here not good here doing a little better here on the Colorado up here in Northwest Colorado is terrible so hopefully things improve let's go to windy.com and see what is going on and then we will get to the lake levels after that we are at the European model and finally there is some precipitation in the next 10 days heading towards California. So this is a good situation to be in. So Lake Oroville here, for instance, is going to get 1.61 inches of precipitation according to this 10-day forecast. Now this could change. It's a long way out because if we go to like the five-day, there's very little precipitation, just a little bit. So it starts within the next 10 days and the GFS model is agreeing with that. So we go back to the European model here and we go to new snow and you can see in the next five days they're going to get about two inches over by East Quincy and then 3.3 down here South Tahoe down here 1.1 and we scoot out over to the Colorado we're doing both right now so 5.2 over by Denver Grand Junction 1.2 and this is the next five we go to the next 10 and things light up quite a bit especially in California so check this out California going to get around 13 to 14 14 inches 
inches of snow in the next 10 days. Tahoe is going to get 7.5. This is not a real good storm, but hey, after 33 days of no precipitation, we will take what we can get. This is not like the earlier storms that we've seen in December. That is what's going on with the weather. And now we are going to go to Lake Oroville and we're going to check out the water levels there currently. Lake Oroville. So they're not showing what the levels are, but I'm not really concerned with that right at the moment. I'm just worried about your outflows versus your inflows. Here are your outflows, 3,564, and your inflows are 4,204. So the lake should be on the increase. Lake Shasta, the outflows are 3,024, and your inflows are 4,731. And Trinity, 441 out, 1,286 in. The lake is currently 32% of capacity. And we are going to go down to Folsom. Folsom water level is 420.25 feet MSL, 55 four percent and this thing was at 60 back in early december so it's come down six percent and now your outflows are 1939 your inflows are 1923 they have slowed this way down this thing was a lot higher before just basically keeping the level about the same so let's roll over to lake oroville and see what the water levels currently are at lake oroville as we roll over to lake oroville the water level at lake oroville 746.08 feet msl saturday february 12 2022 at 9 a.m the level is 153.92 feet below full pool of 900 and the thing is on the increase of 0. 0.20 feet and that is what's going on at Lake Oroville. We are going to go over to Lake Shasta and see what those water levels currently are. Lake Shasta water level 935.98 feet MSL Saturday February 12, 2022 at 9 a.m. The level is 131.02 feet below full pool of 1067 and the lake is on the increase 0 0.11 feet and now we're going to roll over to Lake Powell and see what those levels currently are at. We're at Lake Powell water level Level. The water level is 3,529.83 feet MSL Thursday, February 10th, 2022 at 12 a.m. The level is 170.17 feet below full pool of 37. And boy, this thing just continues to drop over and over and over. The lake is down 0.17 feet. And since the last reading or since yesterday, so it says, let's roll down to Lake Mead and see what those levels currently are at. And we are at Lake Mead water level and the water level currently for Lake Lake Mead is 1,067.13 feet MSL. Saturday, February 12, 2022 at 12 p.m. The level is 161.87 feet below full pool of 1,229. And my question is, so we just did Lake Powell's water level, how it continues to drop, you would think Lake Mead would be on the increase, but as you can see, as we go to 2021, you can see that it was even increasing some, and in 2022, it was increasing a lot. Here we are, February 12th, and the thing is just basically flatlined. It's not increasing nor decreasing, as this time of year, it should be increasing steadily. It started to a little bit in January, but it's kind of tailed off, and it hasn't really gone up or down even over here at the latter part of 2021 it has an increase and if you take go out to 2017 you can see it increase you go to 2018 you can see that there was somewhat of an increase and then it started to flatline right through here right right in february where it is now and you go to 2019 you can see that it increased so where is the increases at you're just not seeing them it's more of a flat line and it's kind of been a flat line since it got to a low in december of last year Year. So question is where it is. Now the good news is, like I said, the Colorado is kind of getting some snowpack this year compared to others. But the bad news is, as I just showed you at Lake Powell, there's just not a whole lot. Lake Powell's been dropping over and over and over and over and over and over and then some more. So that is what's going on. Let's go down to Lake Mojave and see what's going on down there. Lake Mojave water level. The water level at Lake Mojave is 642.24 feet MSL Saturday, February 12th, 2020. 11.45 a.m. The level is 4.67 feet below full pool of 647. So this thing is barely down, only down 4.76 feet. And changes since yesterday, 0 0.9 
and we are going down to Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu water level. The water level at Lake Havasu is 447.86 feet MSL Saturday, February 12th, 2022 at 1130 a.m. The level is 286 feet above full pool of 445 and changes since yesterday and things continuing to drop at 0.7 and that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for tuning in and you guys have a blessed day. Let's hope they get some precipitation in California and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.